Resident Evil 7 is directed by Shijiro Miyamoto and stars Mila Jovovich and Pat Seamstress. It's loosely based on the video game Biohazard, but I have to give it credit because it mostly just uses it as inspiration and takes the themes and ideas of the game and makes it into a new We start off with a mystery person tossing the T-virus into the lab. It wreaks all sorts of havoc and causes this lady to forget how to elevate her. Randy wakes up without her short-term memory, so she's trying to figure out what's going on. But don't worry, uh, she immediately starts having flashbacks to clear up any of that mystery. She starts walking around and BAM! Birdemic! The acting gets hokey as shit. Report now. What? I want your report, soldier. I don't know what you're talking about. Sir, the house's primary defenses have been activated. She's probably still suffering the side effects. Walking across the room. Damn. They find this guy who's looking for a sister, and this guy who's trying to avenge Caesar's death. Ah, oh, flashback. Following. They're not supposed to move their head, they're supposed to move their eyes. You're a terrible medic. Good. So then the camera starts spinning around this exposition character, and he's saying that he forgot his keys down in the hive, so they have to go look for him. Still spinning. So they have to go down in the hive to find his keys, but then that it's making me nauseous. Flash, flashback again. Same flashback. Okay, now she's going to get her code. Jeez, flashback. Oh, getting present-day whiplash. Then we get an obvious jump scare moment. Poor bastards. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, it didn't happen. So then they have to go through laser hall to find his keys. No! But they didn't teach that in medical school. Ah! Oh my God, Kaplan, there's something killing them Jeez, in there. Man, Hurry, this. you guys. Hurry up. How will I masturbate? Time to split. They find little evil, shitty looking computer girl. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. One of the great virtues of this movie is that the protagonist is not the center of the universe. She doesn't even become a big action star until about 45 minutes into the movie, and this is a pretty novel approach for a, an action hero. And the other characters all have their own interests, they're not centered around the protagonist. Like, this guy's looking for his sister, this guy's looking for Octavian, this guy's looking for his car keys, and this guy's just looking for an exit. She kicks him in the face. That just happened. Did you need to flash back to it? Or hey, sis, I realized you'd be into this too. Oh shit! God, it's gonna be flashback. Oh. I can help you get the virus. I have access to security codes, surveillance plans. Who is she? My sister. Corporations, like Umbrella, think they're above the law, but they're not. Cool. Yeah. Told them. Be our only way out of here. The now they're trying to hack in a new, the little red evil girl. That circuit breaker you're talking about, can you bypass it? Vasquez went crazy and she's like sexually you, huh? teasing the zombies now. Huh? You like the way it tastes, don't you? Is he clenching his fist at them? It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Then Randy Newman remembers there's a vaccine, so they want to go get it. And that's one of the things. She remembers things in dramatic sequence. And you don't have time to be interested in any of the mysteries before they're resolved. You betrayed her. I don't know. You caused I all can't of remember. this. The truth. Don't remember the truth. Oh my god, he was a zombie the whole time! 
So then Mark Antony tries to maintain his American accent while a solid snake zombie sneaks up on him. Couldn't have been standing more than three feet from. I so nearly made it out. Didn't realize that bitch of a computer had defense systems outside the hive. In or out. So Mark Antony gets killed by some CG dog shit. Vasquez turns into a werewolf and Randy Newman kills her. They make it to the end, they take her clothes off for some reason. Alright, then she's standing in the middle of the street with a shotgun, but I gotta say, this goddamn set design makes no goddamn sense. First, look at all the paper around. All the scraps of paper. Where, where did all this paper come from? What were they- Was everybody like, it's the apocalypse, email's down, I gotta get this report across the street. What was going on? Was some idiot like- uh, No, dude, I read somewhere that their only weakness is paper cuts. So everybody's running around <laughs> flinging sheets of paper at zombies? There's paper on the roof of the bus and the news van there. They were throwing it from the windows. And what scenario had that fire truck sending its ladder up to nowhere, followed by like five cars there that have nothing- where are they going? Zero to five.